My goodness. <laughs> let me pause this and I'll let it run. Um, okay, so here we are again with the fighter pilots are special. Uh, wow. So test pilots are special. Astronaut training, uh, that's special. There are a lot of, when it comes to flying, there are a lot of specials involved, but I can tell you right now, as a pilot, my whole life, I can tell you anyone can fly an airplane. And when you see the cockpit of an F-16 or, well, they're, they're changing now, but there was a time when I got in an airplane, everything was fucking gauges. That's how old I am, okay? The HUD was brand fucking new, damn near. So, but nowadays, they try to take that load off the pilot. So, there... Anyone can do it. If you can drive a car fast around corners, if you have that cognitive ability, if you can, you know, ride a bicycle and chew gum at the same time, you don't need to be able to ride a bike and juggle. Okay, the actual act of getting an airplane from the ground to the air and from the air to the ground, any capable person can do it. Don't think these fighter pilots are somebody fucking special. They got, they got recommended to go to the Air Force Academy. Then they got out and they got in a training program. And like anyone else, if you really want to learn something, if you're really in love with it, you will learn it and you will love it. That complicated dashboard becomes rote. You don't have to go like this. Let me see. Where's this gauge? Where's that gauge? You know for any situation where your eyes are going to go on your instrumentation. You're not looking at everything. The, only this relates right now to what I'm thinking right now, what I need right now. You don't have to look down and scan through all these fucking instrumentation, okay? There's a time for looking at what those are doing. But then also, there's, there's no need to look at them the majority of time. They're there for your use. They're not there to distract you or to take you away from, you know, the act of taking off, landing, navigating, even, even fighting, okay? The, better, the best airplanes right now, they take that load off of the pilot as much as they can, especially with aircraft that are single-seaters. They want to, they you know, declutter the atmosphere for these pilots so that they can be more effective. And I'm telling you now, anyone can do it. Now, can anyone go into combat? No. Can anyone follow orders to the degree and intensity these guys have to? No. You know, can anybody physically, physically, the demand physically pull eight, nine Gs? No, not everyone can. But when it comes to actually flying an aircraft, it's not that hard. So this is what I did. I took pretty much everyone in my fucking high school flying when I was younger, especially the girls. They were very impressed. Most of the guys didn't even have a car. I'm taking them flying out to the nut tree for lunch. Very impressive. All of them were allowed to fly. I would take them up. Here's the rudder pedals. Here's this, you know, this, this activates your, your ailerons. Uh, the, you know, this, these are the controls. And they would play around with it a little bit and within minutes, they're turning the airplane, they're climbing, they're descending, they're, they're using the throttle. I slow down to a slow speed. I teach them, this is what the flaps do. This is when you use them. And within a couple of flights, I have guys that are taking off. Landing is a little, takes a little more skill, but I have them taking off. Yes, I'm watching the yoke, but still, it didn't take long. So don't be impressed when you see these jets doing all this shit. Some of them are physically demanding when you see them doing aerobatic maneuvers and shit. Trust me, these guys are in there grunting their ass off. But, you know, the instrumentation and all that, if you love what you're doing, it becomes rote. It becomes something burned into your brain. You don't have to think about it. You just do it. And that's if you really like doing something. If you, if you want to be a fighter pilot and you get in a cockpit, of course at first it's going to be, wow, a little bit of overload. But they've lessened that over time. And now when you get in, everything's, they try to manage everything for you, okay? So that you're not distracted by something that you don't have, shouldn't have to pay attention to. So, yeah, don't, don't be overly impressed, okay? Don't feel bad because you feel like, well, I could never fly an airplane. Oh, fuck yes, you can. 
Let me tell you what you do. So, this is the hard part. Passing the written. Passing the written exam. Navigation, weather, FAA regulations, all that. That's the hard part. That's the hard part. I scored a 97. I thought I had a 100. I thought, oh, this is fucking easy. Got a 97. I beat my, my, my mom's boyfriend, who was a pilot at the time, who got me really into it. But if you can pass the written, no problem. You get your pilot's license because anyone can learn to fly. If you, if you have trouble with, with the written, it doesn't mean you can't fly. You just can't take passengers. That's all. That doesn't stop many people, but you're, legally you're not supposed to take passengers. That's the only difference. You can go fly every single day at... With a, with a student license. You don't have to have a private license. You can go fly with a student license anytime you want without passing the written. We call them permanent students. They don't care to go and get their pilot's license. I've, I've known people that had two, three hundred hours of flight time and didn't have their pilot's license. Just professional students. So, yeah. Anyone can do it, okay? D don't be overly impressed by people that can fly an airplane. 